dark sky is important, what does it matter to us that we can go out and look up and see stars? Not only does light pollution prevent us from seeing stars that have been in the sky for millennia, connecting us to civilizations past, but it can also have a dramatic impact on our health, as well as the health of many of the organisms that live around us. What effect does artificial light have on the night sky and the stars that we can observe? Under normal conditions, away from the lights of cities, we can observe about 2,000 stars. But if we're in the presence of a bright street lamp, a home with no curtains on the windows, or floodlights, the number of stars we can see drops dramatically. Simple ways of limiting the effects of light pollution are to close the curtains at night when the lights in your home are on, install motion detectors so that exterior lights only come on in response to movement rather than leaving them on all night, and in the case of street lamps, using a shield that directs light downward. You can determine the level of light pollution where you are by observing an easy-to-find constellation, the Little Dipper. First, look for the familiar shape of the Big Dipper. There's the cup, and here's the handle. Use the stars at the far side of the cup, drawing a line away from the bottom, and the first bright star you come to will be Polaris, the last star in the handle of the Little Dipper. Look and see how many stars you can count in the Little Dipper. Can you see all of the stars in the handle and in the cup? If so, you have very dark skies. If you can only see Polaris and the two stars at the far end of the cup, you have a lot of light pollution. The more stars you can see in the Little Dipper, the lower your levels of light pollution are. Just keep in mind when you go outside that you'll need about 15 minutes to let your eyes adjust to the dark, and you'll want to go out on a dark night without a lot of light from the moon. Artificial light can impact many of our local species. Loggerhead sea turtle hatchlings use the wavelengths of blue and green light of the stars reflecting off the ocean to guide them down to the water when they hatch. Beachfront lighting can disorient them, causing them to go the wrong direction, which leaves the babies vulnerable to predators and exhaustion. Eastern screech owls, which hunt at night using their excellent hearing and vision, may not be able to catch adequate amounts of food if they lose the cover of darkness to help them sneak up on their prey. And migratory birds, such as our beautiful painted bunting, often travel at night using the light of the stars to navigate. Artificial light can confuse and disorient them, causing them to crash into tall buildings or fly in circles until they are too exhausted to continue. There are many more examples of the effect which light pollution has on animals. Scientists are just beginning to discover how profound and detrimental these effects can be. In many locations around the world, going outside to stargaze is not even possible because of the high levels of light pollution. I encourage you to reduce light pollution where you live, take advantage of dark skies in Beaufort County, and learn to recognize some of the amazing sights the night sky has to offer.